Hello. In 2009, I put this track out. It's called Oscillate, and it came out originally on my label of the time, Oosh. And it kind of goes like this. So, as you can see, it's dominated by that big held synth string sound that moves around uh, and pitches up, pitches down. And that's all done on the ES2, and it's being modulated by an LFO to control the pitch of the oscillators. And it's really simple to do. I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, as usual, I'm going to mute the track. I've got a few bars of beats from the original. And I'm going to make a new instrument. And you won't be surprised to know it's the ES2, because I just told you. And you get this, this modulation matrix also in the EXS24 and the ES1. And this is basically a matrix that al allows you to choose sources down here to modulate destinations up here. So there's a bit of a logic to the way that Logic um, lays out these synthesizers, if you like. But this one's really simple. I'm going to just draw in a, a MIDI data area here. I'm not even going to use the keyboard for this. I'm just going to draw in a C sharp. And then expand it to fill the area. Now that obviously doesn't sound much like the sound in the track, so I'm going to go to the tutorial settings and choose something maybe like an analog saw. Now, it's not identical to the sound that I used in the track, but it will do for the purpose of the demonstration. I'm doing here is just adjusting the the attack on the envelope so we don't get too much of a bite when the sound restarts and the main thing we're going to do is select pitch one two three which means the pitch of these three oscillators here that means that this is the target or the destination of the modulation I'm not going to do a via because I just want to control it completely via an LFO and I'm going to choose LFO2. Now watch what happens when I start to move this LFO slider around. I beg your pardon, I need to of course dial in some modulation. Now this has a zero point here and a plus and a minus sign. You might just be able to see the minus sign at the bottom. If you go into negative values, then it will modulate inversely. So it will start at the top and modulate the pitch down. If you have positive values, it will start at the desired pitch and then modulate up. So I'll show you the difference. And if it was down here, you can probably hear it better on a longer speed. And the other distinction you can make, you can have a free sync, which means it won't lock to any tempo value. If you adjust the LFO in this positive area of the slider, if you go below zero, then it will sync to a certain predetermined timing, quarter notes, quarter triplets, etc., half notes. 
I tend to do free timings for these things because I like to have them just really roll around. Now you need to add some reverb in as well, otherwise it won't get that huge kind of dramatic sound. And I use platinum verb on this sound. You can also add in some tape delay, more for a kind of chorusing effect. You, you can pretty much try anything you want, really. In fact, yeah, why not? Let's put some chorus in as well. Modulation, chorus. Maybe put the reverb in second in the chain. Maybe some light side chaining as well. In this case, I don't have a side chain, so I'm just going to uh, side chain it to the the beat itself. And finally, a bit of limiting as well. Not usually a huge fan of limiters. I don't use them very often, but sometimes in sounds like this, where the dynamic range is quite large and you want to make the sound sound big anyway, then. A little bit of light limiting is fine. And finally, just to demonstrate that effect in real time, I'm going to turn on the touch and take this off here and just draw in some real time changes on these two parameter axes here. So let's just play that. Should have drawn it in somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So let's say that plots in over that kind of time there. May as well normalize that loop. As you can see, you can have a ton of fun just moving around the timing of the LFO. And if you ever want to bring the sound back to a more regular hell sound, You can always adjust the carrier intensity. And I, I would always add a filter as well to bring this kind of thing in. 
also helps with that attack on the envelope as well. So that's it, that's using an LFO to modulate oscillator pitch in ES2. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.